What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten here for another Makeup Monday, as I'm sure you can tell by my very, very bare face. How, how's everything going? I hope your week went swell. Thanksgiving is coming up. Tell me in the comments below the dish that you're most looking forward to. I'm just hoping and praying that at least one of the Thanksgiving dinners I go to has cornbread. Like, correction has enough cornbread for me to eat as much as I want and not feel bad about other people not having any anyways yeah like I said we're back for another makeup Monday um if you didn't see it last week go ahead and check the description down below the link will hopefully be there because I'm probably gonna remember to do it for sure yeah so last week was a red hot get ready with me and this week orange you glad I'm continuing makeup Monday so I'm wondering what color? What color do we think Skitten is gonna do on her face today? It's orange! Just like my Gatorade. This was not a sponsorship, BT dubs. We just happened to have orange Gatorade in the house and I thought it would be funny. I don't even really like orange Gatorade, so now I'm kind of sad. But anyway, so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. My face is already prepped and primed. One of these days I'm gonna do like a full on makeup vid where I show you what I do from like when I sit down to when I get up. But today I kind of wanted to focus more on the eyes. I am gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna um, change like the zoom a little bit if I can. But yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. And then just like last time, I'm gonna do my face makeup off camera and then come back on and show you the final result. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let me see, can I, can you zoom in more? How do I do this? No, I don't know how to work this camera. Okay, I think this works. Eh, eh. Okay, perfect. Um, so first things first, I do my eyebrows first. I don't know why. There's a debate on Twitter about if you're supposed to do your eyebrows before or after foundation. I use pomade or whatever. Pomade. I don't know how you fucking say that word. I'm gonna say pomade because it sounds fancy. And when I was like doing it before and I would like carve it out with the concealer, the pomade would like smear onto my foundation and then it would, like look gray and gross. Um, so first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna comb them up. The shit was mad expensive. I'm pretty sure you can find less expensive fucking brushes or even just buy a bunch of fucking spoolies off of Amazon. Um, but this is the 20 brush from Anastasia. I've, apparently I've been saying it wrong. I've been saying Anastasia, like the fucking movie. And apparently it's Anastasia. So there's two, they have like two different ones. They have the 20 and they have the 7B. I'm gonna use them both, but right now I'm using um, the 20 just because I feel like the spoolie is bigger and it's just a little bit better for my eyebrows because I have really thick eyebrows. So that they look a little crazy. They look a little cray cray. We're not gonna leave them like this though. Alright, cool beans. Um, I didn't get out my pomade beforehand, so now I have to look for it. Uno momento, por favor. I think the last time I told you guys like I don't spend a ton of money on makeup. Literally, like my foundation, these two brushes, my foundation brush, and this are like the most expensive thing that I things that I own. But yeah, so this is the Anastasia Dip Brow. I vaguely feel like this might be too dark for me, um, but I'm too broke to try different colors. So okay, so I'm gonna take the 7B. So it's this little angled brush right here the 7b and so i'm gonna dip it <laughs> dip it in the dip brow dip it in the dip brow i like scrape the edges on the edge of my thing so i just go underneath my brow line like literally like just underneath it and then we're then hard when i do it for myself And I mostly just use this to like fill in spaces like as y'all can see I already have like very thick eyebrows so I don't really need like a ton of help um, just to give it like a more uniform appearance. So I'm going to show you on this eyebrow first and then I'll finish on this and then I'll do this eyebrow like fast. So yeah so I just did the bottom part now you comb down the, all those hairs that you brushed up before so it's like that do a little bit more of the pomade and again. I just personally, I just follow the outline of my hairs because I like my eyebrows to be looking short. All right, and then for this part, I just kind of pick a spot and I go straight. If you have like natural eyebrows, I'm probably like 
or like my way would probably work for you but if you don't have a lot of eyebrows then just like in the comments below just ask me and I can like point you to some people who like actually like put on full-on eyebrows so then I just take with what's left on the brush I don't put anything extra on the brush because I don't want too too much on there um but just with what's left on the brush from me um doing the outline I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the spaces and I go all the way up and I probably stop like right about here, you know? Oh, I just got on my forehead. Just to kind of give it that like faded in look. And then last uh, but not least, you just brush upwards to blend out br with the spoolie um, on the opposite end of the brush just to blend out that harsh line that you have at the front. All right, so there's that. So that's it for the pomade on this eyebrow. And then I take conceal. Oh, I don't think this is foundation actually. Yeah. So this is Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation by um, CoverGirl. You can use basically any concealer um, that you want to use. This is just what I use. Because my dumbass bought this and thought it was like the same color as my skin. It might look like it because I'm a little bit like washed out with the lights right now. Let me tell you, it's not. This shit is for white girls. I'm not a white girl. So again, picking up that 20 brush from Anastasia with the, this one has the flat top. So I squeezed my concealer onto the top of, like to its top, like brushed it through so that there was a line and then I went up like that. So then there's just like the slightest amount of concealer on there. A lot of people go super heavy on their concealer. I just don't because I'm messy. If I just go super heavy on the concealer, I'll just like fuck everything up. So I just have to do a little bit of concealer at a time. Um, so I'm gonna go right under, again, like right under my brow. Uh, if I was a real beauty YouTuber, I would have shown you a shot of what I'm doing with my brush, but y'all are just gonna have to figure it out. To be honest, I'm pretty sure the way I do things is not like the most efficient, so it's no real loss for y'all. So you just use the concealer to kind of carve out the shape that you want and then you brush it down so it's not like all caked up. Yeah, so I just carved out the bottom of my eyebrow. Ew, out of context, it sounds super gross. And do the top. So I start with the tail first. I don't, and like some people just kind of go, you know, like, but I don't do that. So like I take literally like the tip of the brush just like I did for this part and I just trace it very gently I go down kind of at an angle because I want like I said I want that tail to be very sharp I like how that looks so I go down a little bit at an angle yeah and then just like we did with the pomade right so we meet that little round pot right there and like right here, like at this part of my eyebrow, I went a little heavy on the pomade. So I just use the concealer to kind of just like cut that down a little bit so it's not like so flared and fat at the, at the front of my eyebrow. I'm gonna comb this up a little bit. Comb all of these little hairs into place and there is my eyebrow um after you finish your eyebrow something that i literally just discovered like i'd seen people talk about it but i didn't really care um i use eyebrow gel now because it keeps my little hairs in place because my hair just kind of likes to, my, i don't know my hair's stubborn it likes to go out of place so um my personal favorite i use this it's nyx it's nyx control freak like i said just comb all my little hairs into place and there you go. That is my eyebrow. Ew. Complete with like just random pomade on my face. This is why I do my eyebrows pre-foundation. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow. That's gonna be it's gonna be sped up, and then we'll move on to the eyeshadow.
All right, now that I'm done with both eyebrows, I just take what's left of my concealer. And I just kind of go here in the center just to make sure my edges are all good. Um, my eyebrows have always been sisters, not twins. So I think these are like not exactly the same. I think the angles might be a little bit different, but that's okay. I'm okay with it because they might look different, but they both look a little fleeky girl. I don't even talk like that, like I don't know. All right, so that's it for my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this eyebrow stuff away. Cool beans, all right, now we start on the fun stuff. So like I said before, we are doing orange. Where's my, hold up. Uh, just like last time, I'm gonna be using um, a couple of different palettes for this um, and a couple of loose powders. I'm gonna show you guys everything. And last time I think I forgot to put the product list in the description below. Um, I will probably forget again, but it'll be up later than the video is up. I got work, I got shit to do, so. Like last time, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder, just in case there's any fallout. That way I can just brush it off. This is, again, a trick that I learned from Jackie Aina. Um, Aina, Aina, Jackie, 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 Jackie. That girl, yeah, her, love her, in love with her. But that's a trick I used, to, I learned from her. Might be doing it wrong, but it's how I know how to do. So, so I'm gonna try not to use too, too many different powders so you guys can kind of like follow along and also so that it's like more of a simple look that you can do when you wanna wear orange eyeshadow. I don't know. Incidentally, the concealer that I use to prime my eyes, um, oh, I keep forgetting that this freaking top broke. I actually used to use it as like a regular concealer. It was like right next to my normal shade. It was just like a sh shade or two lighter or something. You know, I wanted to go a little bit lighter on my concealer anyway, whatever, whatever. And then I was taking selfies and realized this shit had hella flashback. And I looked and it's because this shit was like 10 shades away from my normal shade. Like this shit is a 3.5. It's like a 3.5 and the concealer I was using was like 6.1 or something. And I was like, oh God, just go ahead and prime my eyeballs just so that the color shows up well. Again, a lot of looks and tutorials and stuff say don't set your base. So I'm not gonna lie and say that like, you know, making sure your base is dry and set is what's best. Um, it's just what works best for me. So there's that and let's get started. So first and foremost, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and clean it on this. A dry brush cleaner that I got from the crayon case and I'm just gonna oh, take my fluffy brush and do a little bit of that I don't want any I did blue yesterday like for work not even for a video and now there's like blue stuff all over my freaking makeup brushes all right so first and foremost I'm actually gonna start with yellow right here yellow is gonna be like the top shade you're not really gonna see a ton of it but that's just what i'm gonna use one of the things that i've learned is most important when doing eyeshadow is taking your time with blending. Now, I'm gonna be real honest, I usually don't. I usually am getting ready for work and I've only got, you know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, you know, like I usually don't have a ton of time to spend like a crazy amount of time blending, but just kind of try to make sure that, that you do. Okay, so there's my yellow. The next color I'm gonna use is FHLCS. It's a loose powder shadow from Star Crushed Minerals. It's this like really nice, kind of almost terracotta-y peachy orange, but there's like a hint of sparkle to it. I'm gonna dust that all right here. I don't know what this area of my eye is called. I'm gonna go, I'm going on. The camera died, so now I have to refigure out my freaking zoom settings, cause 
who didn't write them down this girl right underneath where we put the yellow so we're just kind of deepening that crease area now on to the other eye I don't know about you guys but like I like to do like a thing on one eye and then a thing on the other eye and then a thing on one eye and then a thing on the other eye like I don't like finishing one eye and then like having to do the other because I, I don't know why I just feel like they don't turn out the same when I do it like that I also feel like it kind of saves me time all right cool so we uh, deepened our crease with the FHLCS color you can still kind of see the yellow like a little bit but you don't see that a ton next I'm gonna go in actually with this super like bright neon orange it's called peach side bay trying to wing it out a little bit but it's not really working so that's cool too now on to the other side mm -mm. on to the other side It is so hard to go from like my right side where I'm good to my left side where I'm not that good. It's rough, guys. And I've noticed I've been using the same brush to do everything. I'm pretty sure that's like not how you're supposed to do it, but like I said, I don't have a ton of different makeup brushes, so I deal with what I got. So I'm gonna go back in with that FHLCS just very lightly along the top of where I put Peach Side Babe and I'm just gonna kind of blend it just so that the edge is a little bit softer. All right, dope. The next color I'm going to go in with, I'm going to use this brush. I don't know. It's a wet and wild brush. I got it from the Dollar General. So, But I'm going to go in with Real Gar right here. This is from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to pat it directly onto my eyelids. Okay. I sufficiently Real Guard. Like I said, um, when you do stuff, like sometimes you have to go like re re-go in with colors so I'm going back in with peach side babe just so that it still maintains that kind of like fullness of color still want this to be like this like a really full bright orange even though real gar is kind of like a duller color so again we're going back in with Peach side babe just kind of starting here and then just sweeping it over a little bit this is not like an official technique I didn't learn this from anybody this is literally just how I do my makeup it's probably wrong let's let's be real here um so I'm gonna try to do like a halo eye I've never successfully done one before so we'll see what happens a little bit like that no I don't know how to do this guy I think I'm failing looks kind of right looks kind of like what I was going for maybe I'm just not using enough concealer when I do things I've only considered that a couple of times all right so I'm gonna go back over just a little bit I don't know if this is right but this is what we've got now so so yeah so this is what we're gonna go with for this shape like i said don't think it's right but we'll make it work we'll figure it out i'm trying to extend it out to make it look more halo-y halo eye -y, but i don't think it's working but it's okay so we did that. Now we're going to take um, orange from the Box of Crayons palette. This one right here. It's like a really pretty glittery color. And I'm gonna take this guy. Now I know why like beauty influencers are always like, pmee, pmee, pmee. So yeah, I'm gonna take this orange glitter guy. And I'm gonna put it in the center where I did put the concealer at. Mm, 
It didn't turn out right, so I'm just gonna turn it into a cut crease. And then we'll just turn that into a half cut crease right there. Ah! That just crumbled all over my face. I accidentally scooped up like a whole fuck ton of it. beans all right and then I like to you I actually am I wasn't gonna use this color pop palette but I changed my mind so I'm just like mixing them and I'm just blending them with that cut crease right there you want to try to get them to blend really nice so it looks blended and not like half and halfy you know which is typically what my half cut creases end up looking like, to be quite honest. Blend until your wrist hurts. Okay, so this is what my eyes look like right now. I'm feeling kind of like they're missing a little bit of depth, again, on the ColourPop palette. And I'm just kind of sticking with the ColourPop palette uh, just because it's like mostly oranges anyway. So that's kind of why, that's why I'm sticking with it. So I'm going to use this color right here. You see how kind of like, even though it's brown, it kind of just like blends in with the orange and just makes it look like super dark. That's kind of what we're going for right there in the corner. Again, just on the outer corner of the eye. And there you go. I'm just gonna, it's like a dark orange with a shimmer. And I'm gonna just put that in the middle. Middle. And we're just blending it out. I'm gonna um, go back in with Real Gar right here again in the Modern Round pa pa palette. And I'm gonna use this brush again. And I'm just gonna go right underneath my eye. So that is it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do some quick eyeliner and mascara, and you guys might even get some lashes out of me. Okay, so right now I'm using super cheap liner because I have not bothered to go to Ulta to get my NYX liner. So this was literally a dollar from the freaking dollar store. It's LA Colors. It's just their liquid eyeliner. Um, incidentally, I really like it. It's not quite as matte as I like my eyeliner to be. I don't like my eyeliner to be like shiny like vinyl. Um, I do like it to be really matte and dried down. So this is not that. This is not going to be a super matte eyeliner. But it's really good in a pinch. You know what I mean? To be honest, it is literally just a bunch of trial and error. Um, it took me a really long time to figure out my techniques. So I'm going to do my best to show you on camera what I do in real life and hopefully it helps. Okay, so I went up from my the corner of my eye, like straight up, like towards my the tail of my eyebrow. I'm not quite touching the tail of my eyebrow. What I do is I go from like here on the wing. I don't go right from the top. I go, you know, just a little bit below that. So I made that line. Now I'm gonna go from here. And I'm gonna just drag it across my eyelid. And then I go from my inner corner up and over so that they meet. That's gonna be the basic shape of my wing. It's a little bit thicker than I normally do just cause I was trying to kind of exaggerate the movements and show you guys. Um, but now all that's left to do is fill it in, like coloring in a coloring book. There we go. All right. And there you have it. My, there's my wing. It is thick and beautiful, just like me. I'm going to, did I wink? Did I, 
Did I do it? I don't think I did it. Anyway, so there's my wing. I'm going to repeat the process on the other eye, do some mascara, and because my wing is so thick, yes, I am gonna put on lashes. What's up, babe? I just realized they're gonna be able to hear you talking about League of Legends in my video. Uh, I hope so. I hope, I hope we find a lot of places to cut off and you can shoot for like two fucking hours. I've literally only been shooting for- Two hours! hours. It's been an hour! Two hours! How do you double it? Double? You want a shot of vodka? No! You better not take a shot either! Checking. Kind of alcoholic. The fuck? I'm just doing makeup. All right, so there's my wings, there's my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and when I come back, you will get to see the completed look. Aren't you excited? There you have it, you guys. This is my completed orange look. I did lashes, I did lipstick, I did a little bit of, you know, the face stuff. Give a little bit more nuance. Um, so yeah, this is my orange look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do it. I will have a get ready with me where we do the full face. Um, just this time I wanted to kind of do a little bit more focus on like my eyes and my eyebrows. So this is my look with a matte lip. Let me show you real quick with a glossy lip. This is bilingual. Uh, my best friend got it for me for my birthday. It's from the Fenty Beauty Summer Collection. So this is it with the glossy lip. And there you have it. So peace out, ho biscuits. Make sure you tune in um, tomorrow for Taco Tuesdays. Peace out. <laughs>